stop dating people who just came out of a relationship or a marriage. Let them heal because you will get drained trying to play a doctor or a nurse. You're not one. The most difficult people to date are people who just came out of a relationship or a marriage. Heartbreak. They will bleed on you because they've not healed. They will use you because they are just looking for distraction, not love. They are looking for a quick off and you are the one who is going to play the baby nurse and baby doctor. And when they have found yourself, they will leave you. <laughs> I see people come out of relationship and marriage and in two months, they are dating, they are in love. In three months, they are dating, they are in love. And I laugh so hard. It is you that is dating them that I am pitying because you are going to play doctor and you are going to play nurse and they will still leave you and they will still dump you. At that point in time, when people are coming out of a relationship or a marriage, you can be friends with them. You can help guide them through. You can be there for them. But don't date them. Don't start shouting, I'm in love with you. Don't start sleeping with them. They are just looking for distraction. Especially women. You, that is looking at me, you're shining, you are this fine game. Especially women. Once you see that a man is divorced, once you see that he's separated, once he breaks up, pia, you don't enter. Sharp babe, you are playing yourself. You think you are smart. In two months, the guy is saying, I'm in love with you. He's using you as a distraction. People will heal before they can love, except they will bleed on you. Because when people are coming out of a relationship, they have to unlearn and relearn. They have to unwind. They have to detox their system. Do you know what it is to date someone and be in love with somebody? You are used to the person. The person has taught you some things. You have adapted to some things. The person has adapted to you. You know the person so well. You call the person every day. And suddenly the person just disappears. You have to readjust. You have to drop some things that that person has taught you. And start to relearn. And that's the reason why. Oftentimes, when you date people who are just coming out of a relationship is hard. You know why? They'll be trying to impose the things that their ex taught them on you. Because you have not given time, them time to unlearn those things that they have learned. Oh, you don't know. My ex used to like it. I'm not your ex. But it's hard for them because they just came out. So they need time to be able to drop all those things about their ex and start to learn somebody new. But no, a lot of you women are desperate. You don't enter. I will manage him like that. I will manage him like that. I, will, I love him like that. Two months later, three months later, you are complaining. You are disturbing us. So that's the reason why it looks as if when you get into this relationship, it's toxic. They are not toxic. They need time to heal. They don't need love at that point in their life. They need healing. And for you to heal, you must learn how to stay by yourself, to rediscover yourself. Because when you date and you break, break up, up, you lose yourself. When people you love leave you, they took a part of you away. They took your time. They took your energy. They took your resources. You need to recover. You can't just be jumping into another relationship. Do you know what emotion is? Is except you were never in love with. Because when you are truly in a relationship or a marriage, you invested something. It's like when they dupe you. You need time to recover. You first of all go and lie in the hospital for three days, take blood tonic, and start to re-strategize on how you want to do another business. You don't just jump. And when they dupe you, you don't just jump into another business. You will sit down and you will think you will relax. That is what a broken relationship looks like. Allow these people heal. And I'm focusing on you ladies because a lot of you are so desperate. Once you just see that a man has left his wife, bam, you are put head. I don't know what you think that you are, that you are finer than his wife. Or you can do, what, what can you do more than his wife? He's just using you as a distraction. The next thing is, when will you marry me? You don't take me serious. You don't love me. Allow them heal. When they heal, they will love you naturally. When they heal, they will want to understand you. A lot of men don't want to understand you because they have not healed. Because understanding somebody is work. Some of them will not think of how they will not start understanding another girl. What do they do? They will not want to impose their exes on you. Those things they are already used to with their exes, you have to come and fit into it. That's how a lot of you women lose your identity. Because they are so lazy to come and start on learning. They are already used to what their ex is like. So they will have to keep continuing because it's easier. That's why in the relationship, so many women suffer. You suffer because you go there. You don't allow these men to heal. You have rushed. You have dead spirits. You are the one that will suffer it. That's always the thing. Women are always at the receiving end. 
Yes, we are always at the receiving end. And in a place like Africa, it is very difficult for a man to readjust. Yes, so a woman can just is <laughs> a man, is a man, is a man. But a man is difficult for them to readjust. So you need to give them time. And if you date a woman that is just coming out of a relationship and marriage, she'll be looking for who to push blame. Who is the guy? My ex, my ex. Every time she'll be talking story. My ex, my ex, my ex. And it can be so irritating. She'll keep comparing you with her ex. This was how my ex. This was how he started. My ex. <laughs> and it can be very irritating. So let's let these people heal. For you to heal, like I said, you have to learn to be by yourself. If you cannot be by yourself, you cannot heal. Healing simply means going back to the drawing board. Understanding that people will come and people will go. Rediscovering yourself that you have lost. Understanding that they did not leave you because you were not good enough. They left because they wanted to leave. You better yourself. You improve yourself. You find out those loopholes, those things you think you didn't do so right in the relationship. You make adjustment and become a better person. That's healing. Then you go back into the dating market. When you go back into the dating market, you are fully fortified. You have understood that all women are not the same. You have understood that breakup happen. You adjust your mind and try again. We keep trying until we die. People will keep breaking our hearts. That's why God said, forgive 70 times, seven times. They will keep serving us breakfast. So we need to get used to it. So by the time you begin to understand that this is part of life, you begin to make readjustments. You begin to know, okay, let me leave this one. Let me add this one. Let me subtract this one. Life becomes better. Dating becomes easier. But when you go and date a man that is still bleeding, that is just coming out of everybody, all oh, women are prostitutes, all oh, women are sluts. Oh, you have any small misunderstanding. All of you, hey, that's how my ex-wife started. It can, be, it can be very annoying. It can be very annoying. So let them heal. Let them heal so that they don't keep bleeding on you. Healing is so underrated in this part of the world. I don't know what society have done to you and I. Our desperation is raised to power 100. You are desperate to go and stay with people that you don't know. Desperate to go and live with stranger. Desperate to go and suffer for the rest of your life. Marry, 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 marry. You are married and you are miserable. Marry, 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 marry. Marry and you cannot communicate with your husband. Marry, 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 marry. Money, everything is not just right. Then what are you doing there? Because the essence of marrying is for us to have companionship, for you to have somebody you can talk to, for someone to have, you to have somebody you can share with. You're not looking for a roommate. Do you understand? So that's exactly what I'm saying. So all I want to let you know is heal, heal, heal. When you heal, you become a better person. When you heal, you become a good person. When you heal, you become a loving person. So healing is underrated. Stop running away from yourself. Love yourself enough to stay by yourself, to rediscover yourself and find yourself and become a better person. Don't forget, anybody that is coming to date you or to marry you is coming for you. You. So you are the one. You need to take you back to the drawing board and keep bettering you. Don't forget, you are the one. So don't always hate yourself. It is you that they keep coming for. Okay? I hope you enjoyed this topic and I hope you learned and I hope you're going to um, use it to impact your life. Don't forget, guys, we have a walk-in office right here in Lagos State. The first therapy lounge in Lagos where you can actually walk in and talk to a relationship therapist. Yeah! You can now walk in and talk to a certified relationship therapist. We have professionals, psychology, sex therapy, everything about therapy. You can now come to our office and talk to us. We are right here in Lekki. You can also call this number for inquiry 0701951795. We have a lot going on. Yay! We have a barber salon, we have a hair salon, we have a massage, we have a healing. This is a full therapy lounge. Just come. Let's help you relax so that you can reflect. 0701951795. I can't wait to see you guys. Hug you and tell you thank you. Mwah!